up guys welcome back to will of ddt my name is anonymous and today we are bringing you a starter deck kaido profile op8 version with black maria and all the cool shenanigans that come with it uh being able to burn your opponent's life every single turn just feels amazing obviously that's not the right way to play the deck but uh it is really cool that we can do that uh and just really cool to see support that makes like one of the og og leaders of the game viable again so uh yeah this deck is a ton of fun to play has some absolute stop match matchups has some bad matchups sure but uh overall just because of 10 drop kaido black maria and uh the event that now searches for animal kingdom uh cards we have a actually very very viable build of kaido that does really well into a lot of decks in the game currently so i uh, hope you guys enjoy without further ado let's just jump right in All right, guys, so let's get right into the list over here. We have got our starter deck Kaido leader. Man, what a throwback. <laughs> Activate main, you can don minus seven and trash one card from the top of your opponent's life cards. Um, yeah, this is this is really sick. Um, this leader ability was super, super expensive, but now with the uh, obvious... Uh, obviously with the black maria that we got in op8 um it is much much more viable uh still you know we're not trying to just go for like a cheesy like spam leader ability build here where you just keep burning life if you do that you will be out of dawn and you're not going to be able to play the game it's much better to uh, build like a, just a good all-around kaido build that actually plays the game and then has that leader ability as a backup but still the fact that you can do it every single turn uh is pretty freaking crazy and towards the end of the game with black maria you're definitely going to be able to pull off some really um really obnoxious plays here that will put your opponent in a bind so let's start with the obvious picks everybody talked back in set one if kaido had a searcher it would have been the best deck in the game back then <laughs> and we finally got it a little too late but um this is nice obviously searches for anything kaido uh, or animal kingdom or big mom pirates which is really cool so we can run a few big mom pirates cards in here and also have them be searchable so that's pretty neat um, four of those and the search off of trigger is pretty dope as well and then we are running four copies of the classic onigashima uh, if you see this versus if you don't is just night and day difference for this deck uh, when you see onigashima this deck feels like a well-oiled machine like you are able to work up to your power play so efficiently uh, if you don't see it it really i'm not gonna lie like you're probably losing <laughs> like this uh the deck is really really punished by not being able to ramp consistently every single turn uh then i'll get into the 2k counters sanji just really good if you're less down than your opponent this guy becomes a three cost 6k blocker which is insane uh and he's a 2k counter in hand just super uh over over statted card i would say uh very very good obviously next up we have got the 2k counter black maria activate main if you have uh, no other black marias on board you can get five rested dawn cards that is insane five rested dawn cards obviously at the end of your turn you will return to the same amount of dawn as your opponent currently has um but still this is nuts for your leader ability basically allows you to use it without any repercussions uh, if you're playing against a nami it's hilarious you can literally just put a black maria on board and just burn their life every single turn just use leader ability black maria leader ability black maria don't touch their life and then just drop like one of your big bodies and start swinging massive uh, after you've cleared all five of their life just using leader ability um so yeah black maria is amazing with this leader honestly kind of made for this leader more than it was for king um yeah and a 2k counter just insane again just over like way too much value packed into one card uh, and then for rounding out the 2k counters we've got x drake which is also animal kingdom so he is searchable uh the on play dawn minus one make your opponent discard a card never really going to use that occasionally might come up but uh really just another searchable 2k so rounding it out we've got 11 2k counters in the deck uh next up we are running four copies of bond clay uh very nice ramp and basically it can uh you know copy the attack power of one of your opponent's characters so that is definitely neat uh we're not too obsessed with that just ramping an active dawn is really dope uh but yeah bond clay is going to be a really valuable card and potentially if your opponent's dropping a lot of uh you know high attackers it's going to help you kind of 
pressure those and try to take them out just using uh, blank bond play swings, which is pretty dope. Uh, next up, let's get into some blockers. We are running a few blockers in this deck. So we have got three copies of the four cost law, just a really good effect. Uh, if your opponent's got seven cards, you can don minus one to make them discard two at random, no less. Uh, that can be a really, really painful effect. So if you've got this guy early game and your opponent falls within that seven card threshold, I am almost always going to drop this to punish that. It can throw off your opponent's entire game, just losing two cards that they planned on using. Of course, Sometimes you could miss, you could snipe the, the useless stuff, but even still, going from 7 to 5 is really, really painful. So uh, blocker law is going to be really valuable, and then, of course, he just sits there and blocks afterwards, which is kind of neat. Uh, next up, we are running three copies of the five cost blocker kid. Uh, this is going to help you use leader ability and some of your other Don Minus character effects uh, just without having to worry as much because every time you return a Don, you're going to get one back active. Then he's a five cost 6k blocker. So it feels really nice. I think it just works out really well for this deck. And then, of course, you can't play Kaido without the classic. The OG, man, 5 cost, 6k blocker queen, uh, Don minus 1, you draw 2 and trash 1. So queen is a, just allows you to generate a 5-6 body on the board while uh, going net 0 hand size. You don't lose any cards from hand. Uh, just really good. Allows you to cycle out the bricks as well, like extra onigashimas or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, queen is still going to be really good and obviously is going to be searchable in this deck. So we are running 4 of the queen. And then we are running three of the new seven drop king. I know this kind of seems like a lot. The lists that do run this guy usually are running two. I just really like the fact that this guy, you know, he costs seven and he's a minus one. Uh, there's a few times where that's really saved me because he can be played immediately after a 10 drop Kaido. 10 drop Kaido, as long as you have Onigashima, is going to clear six of your Dawn and then you're going to get one back. So you're at five. The next turn, you'll be at seven. Uh, with, you know, having used Onigashima, you'll be at seven. So you can always follow up a 10 drop Kaido with a seven drop King and just apply pressure that way. You Now you have an 8K rush on board. Uh, you know, you're, you've got a 12K sitting on board from previously. And then you are going to have a... Not, uh, a 10k rush the following turn so you can go 10 drop kaido 7 drop king 9 drop kaido reliably uh, in that order which is just really just really really good pressure so i, I like having um personally three king if you don't like it that much you could always cut one of this guy for another one of the blockers another 2k whatever you want uh but yeah uh, you know this just feels like a really good kind of end game pressure uh, we are running one copy of the nine cost Linlin. I had two in here previously. Uh, I ended up cutting her, I think, for something with uh, counter. Maybe for another king, actually. I forgot what I cut her for, but it just, honestly, this, it just feels like this card is a little excessive. Uh, you have to discard one card, which doesn't feel great, and then you get to uh, put one of your opponent's cards in life. For longer games, that feels good, but oftentimes Kaido is just looking to, like, pressure your opponent's life and put them in a position where they don't have uh you know a chance to just like stall out because they're already low on life uh so yeah i, I don't like really giving my opponent another life but occasionally the heal does feel nice so uh yeah one nine cost mom it is searchable off of the event which is cool and then obviously we are running the big boy four copies of 10 drop kaido on play don minus six wipe the entire board uh <laughs> this card is just so good man i can't believe this is a set one card and it's just like you know this leader and even the new king just aren't being played that much and so people kind of forget that this exists but yeah being able to wipe a whole board is freaking nuts this can win games against black they can do their eight cost moria play all day generate five bodies in a single turn then you can just clear it all <laughs> and feels really good so yeah 10 cost kaido you know usually i think the ratio was three of him and four of the nine cost but i think in the current meta this is the card that screws most decks over this is the card that's like really painful for most of your opponents uh so yeah we are running four of him if you see too many cycle them out with with the queen uh or you can use them as fodder for the zero cost event we are running four copies of the zero cost event just discard a card gain plus 3k counter obviously the trigger is nice too uh, allows you to ramp one active dawn 
you know, uh, might come up. Obviously, you want to calculate whether or not it's actually worth it with Onigashima. Generally, we don't need to use this trigger, but sometimes if you get it early, uh, early game in one of your top life, you know, it lets you ramp to like a faster 10 drop or a faster 9 drop. Um, so yeah, uh, occasionally just, you know, kind of calculate it out and see if you want to use the trigger. But uh, overall, just good to have more counter in this deck and more ways to uh, efficiently use the bricks. So yeah, 10 drop and zero cost event. And lastly, I am running two copies of the six cost event. Uh, once again, it is searchable because it's a big bomb and a Kaido card. Uh, it's six dawn, dawn minus two, and you get to KO two of your opponent's characters that are six or less. This is basically a, um, you know, purple's version of a gravity blade, a little worse in the sense that it KOs instead of bottom decking and uh, does a Dawn minus two. But if you use this while you're at like 10 Dawn or even nine Dawn with Onigashima, uh, it literally doesn't matter. Like you will basically not suffer any consequences from going minus two Dawn at all. Uh, so yeah, six Dawn is really, uh, you know, this, this event's really good for clearing board while you've already uh, developed one of your big bodies. Uh, just allows you to control more aggressive decks, decks that go wide while, um, you know, still having Dawn left over to do other things. So uh, yeah, really good card and I do like it overall. So yeah, guys, that is the list. It's pretty standard. I don't feel like I need to explain a lot of this. Um, you're playing pretty standard one piece here. You're developing attackers, you're going for life when necessary, board when necessary, and then you just have these big bodies that can like just really cook your opponent based on uh, some of these sick effects that they have. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's really not much to explain. Obviously, the leader ability plus Black Maria is a way that you can really pressure your opponent at the end game. But I generally don't want to use it till my opponent's at like two life or if they've got very low cards in hand maybe i might start burning their life using the maria and leader ability combo uh just because you know i feel confident that they don't have a way to uh recover or stabilize i'll just start using leader ability to burn their life and put them in a lethal situation um but yeah that combo is really really sick i'm glad that kaido finally has a way to like make his leader ability viable um yeah guys i hope you enjoy this deck list let me know what you guys think in the comments down below let me know how you're enjoying playing kaido i actually think Think this is pretty solid into a lot of matchups um a few are definitely tough but uh overall this is a, a pretty solid pick right now so uh hope you guys enjoy and we will see you in the next video guys peace